Jason here giving you a quick review of the uh, Sea Sucker Hornet. Um, I know there's a couple of others that have been on the internet. Um, this is the latest version for 2017, 2018. Uh, guys up here at Mount Bicycle Connection hooked me up uh, with a demo of it and uh, I have to say, went on really, really easy. A couple of things I love, a couple of things I wish they would be able to improve upon, um, but I just finished doing a sort of a test 30-mile um, drive, had to run a couple of errands and this and that, and uh, bike had really no sway to it whatsoever. I did add a little bit of a strap down at the bottom, and I'll go into this in a little bit as to uh, some of the feature requests that, you know, hopefully Sea Sucker has the ability to, uh, you know, add for future models. Uh, but by and large, um, simple, easy, um, definitely not like the fastest rack in terms of wanting to get your bike on and off to go and ride uh, super quick, but um, super easy to set up, works very well, um, great for uh, travel, um, easily pack up into the box without any difficulty leaving the wheels on. And uh, again, I did a 30 mile uh, drive in the car with it on the back over a couple of bumpy roads and so forth and some speed bumps and really no issues. And I'll go on to the setup in a little bit, but uh, here's a quick look, cheers of the Sea Sucker Hornet. And uh, basically, this is the little, nice little uh, small case. Um, it's almost about maybe double the size of a pair of uh, Oakley cases. And uh, inside, what you have, and this is not gonna be an unboxing, is basically your two vacuum mounts and the top strap. And I'm gonna go over again some of the things that I uh, would like to have seen, uh, some changes I would make, um, and some of the concerns that people have had or expressed at the end of the day. Um, most of it is not revolving around the actual vacuum mounts or how it works, um, but simply about uh, maybe contact of the saddle up against the vehicle and um, some swaying back and forth or the bouncing. Um, some people have asked about a secondary cup to attach to the vehicle to secure that, but I think I've got a pretty easy, simple uh, solution for that. But uh, here we go. The strap here has a uh, T-nut on the outside, and as you can see, it's uh, sort of slotted through the center and then sewn over onto itself. Um, most vehicles, it's not an issue, but for my particular car, you know, this just, this T-nut just won't fit um, underneath the gap here inside of the rubber. So basically, it's gotta just get slid in from the side, which is fine, but creates a little bit of an angle. So one of my recommendations would be for, uh, sea sucker to really uh, sort of notch that so I, uh, it could be slid all the way through as a strap and then maybe just slide in that t-nut on the other side um, in like a little bit of a scored section um, but it does close down on top of the vehicle without any difficulty and then the strap does simply just pull up and out and then over the top it just pulls up and over again in a perfect world if I was able to slide that t-nut in I'd be able to orient it over the top the bottom of where the cam buckle is it has some extra webbing um, that's sewed in a little bit of a protection. Um, I'm really not concerned about this moving back and forth over time and scratching the paint. As with all other Sea Sucker products, um, you can see this is uh, not the first time I've done it, but um, you really want to get the orientation, clean the glass um, so it's free of any dirt or lint, and then put water on the cups and vacuum them. The way Sea Sucker recommends is that you'd actually apply both vacuum cups straight up against the glass and some people do that measure it out and then try to clamp them up and over um, I think I found a little bit easier way especially with the mountain bike but um, obviously everybody can play around with it on their own a uh, tripod mount so it's a little difficult but uh, basically my preferred method is basically taking the the cups orienting them on the handlebar location where I'd want them to be and then simply pulling up and ratcheting them down. Um, and as you can see, this does give it a um, pretty good little uh, simple form factor. What I've also done, uh, what I recommend is uh, just a little piece of foam put on top of the saddle as the saddle will make contact with the vehicle. I'm gonna drop the saddle all the way down. Uh, my dropper, though, it's not something that you need to do. With all Sea Sucker stuff, you wanna make sure that the glass is clean and you get a little bit of moisture onto the vacuum pads and hope everybody's able to see this but basically all I do is grab the rear brake and I'm gonna lift the bike up 
get it situated on the vehicle the way that I like and then simply pump out the air until the indicator is gone. Once the indicator is gone, you know that you've got a really good tight seal and it's really not that complicated. to do both sides. So that was real time with the bike. Um, it really isn't that difficult to get it to go. Some people have had concerns about the bike bouncing up and down, going over hard roads. Um, I've done this with about 30 miles of driving. Haven't had the bike creep down at all or these vacuum pads over time. And then simply the top strap, I will loop up and around the, the steerer tube and then basically come back on top of itself and through the upper cam, if you can see. So my one big thing that uh, I request is that Sea Sucker actually take this strap and make this much longer in length. And the reason being is that I actually position it so my seat um, basically comes right up where it is as opposed to if I set the vacuum cups higher on the vehicle, um, the seat sort of like bouncing uh, with just the nose of the saddle there and I'd be afraid that it breaks. The other request would be is that I actually take a strap and I'll put a photo in the link uh, and just wrap it around here and then through my trailer hitch. But if they use the similar T-nut as a secondary strap, you can simply slide that in the vehicle when you close it and then wrap that around and that would help prevent the vehicle from bouncing out and really inexpensive feature and not necessarily require the use of an extra vacuum cup to go onto the vehicle. Um, not concerned, there's no real pressure that's pushing at least on my particular vehicle up against the metal or the sheet metal um, or causing any dents. And again, I've driven 30 miles over a couple of bumpy roads on this and uh, hasn't creeped, everything stayed solid. I've used their Talon and uh, some of their other products before. Um, this is on here, super secure. There's no creep left or right. And, um, you know, I can give this a good shake and uh, stays on the vehicle well. Uh, so that's the review. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll feel free to answer any questions you have. Cheers.